Hey guys, how's it going? Laura with Garden Answer. Today I want to talk about butterfly bushes. So I work down at a garden center and I noticed that we get quite a few questions about how to take care of them. So I thought I would share a few tips on how you can have success with butterfly bushes as well as talk about some of the most commonly asked questions. So let's just get right into the tips. Tip number one is to plant your butterfly bush in full sun. And when I say full sun, I mean full sun. If you can plant your butterfly bush in a space that has at least eight or more hours of sunlight every day, it will be a very, very happy plant. And even if you live in a warmer climate, you need to make sure to plant your butterfly bush in a place that gets no less than six hours of sun. Tip number two is to provide them with excellent drainage. Butterfly bushes do not like to sit in water. In fact, they're more prone to rotting if they have to sit in water for any amount of time. And um, most of the time when we lose butterfly bushes through the course of a winter, it's not because of snow or ice or winter weather. It's most of the time because that butterfly bush has been sitting in too wet and cold of soil in a fall or a spring. Now, if you have clay soil with poor drainage, there are a few things you can do to kind of help ensure that your success with this type of plant. And the first thing is to not amend the soil. So when you go in to plant your butterfly bush, don't add any potting soil, topsoil, compost, nothing. Just plant it right in native soil because when you amend clay soil, it can oftentimes cause drainage problems. The second thing is to plant your butterfly bush high. And this is gonna go against everything you've learned about planting up to this point. Instead of making sure that root ball is even with ground level, you wanna make sure to bump it up slightly above ground level. That way you kind of create a little bit of a hill so water can run out and away from the root ball instead of running in toward the root ball and possibly causing rot. The third thing is to not add mulch. And this is a hard thing for me to skip because I like to add mulch to all of my flower beds. I like to add it when I plant new things because it does make everything look nice and fresh and clean. But butterfly bushes do not like the extra moisture that that mulch retains. So when you either plant a new butterfly bush or you're going into your flower beds to add your mulch on, you know, usually an annual basis, just make sure to steer clear of the butterfly bush. Give them a little bit of clearance. The third tip is to prune. And the best time to do this is in spring after the plant has started to leaf out. But you need to be patient because butterfly bushes are one of the last things in our gardens to leaf out most of the time. So you want to give it ample time before you either prune it or decide that it hasn't made it through winter. When they do leaf out, you do wanna make sure to prune them no matter what variety of butterfly bush you have. But it's especially important with the larger varieties of butterfly bush because what will happen if you don't prune them is that they can become what's called second story plants, meaning that this butterfly bush will grow to its you know, maximum height and it'll only form flowers right on the very top margins of the plant to where you can only enjoy them if you have a second story window. And if you're the type of person who likes to do all of your garden cleanup in fall, just make sure to skip the butterfly bush because when you do prune them too late in the season, it can open them up to more winter damage. Tip number four is don't overwater. And this one kind of goes hand in hand with drainage, especially if you have clay soil, you'll wanna watch the watering closely. So no matter how you're watering your plants, whether you're hand watering or you've got an irrigation system, you just wanna make sure your butterfly bush isn't getting too much water. And you'll know it's getting too much water if you notice that your plant has uh, weak stems, fewer blooms, or dieback. Tip number five is to avoid fall planting. So because butterfly bushes are a little more susceptible to winter damage, you wanna make sure to get them in the ground as early in the growing season as possible. That way you give them ample time to establish and prepare themselves for the coming winter. If you live in a growing zone five like I do, or a zone six, you probably wanna to stick to planting them in spring through midsummer. However, if you have a butterfly bush sitting somewhere at your house, still in the nursery pot that you haven't had a chance to put in the ground yet and it's getting later in the season go ahead and plant it it doesn't matter if it's getting late uh, it's going to do way better in the ground being insulated by soil all the way around its root ball than it will be in its thin nursery can all right so that's it for tips now i want to move on to a few of the most commonly asked questions about this type of plant so the first question is are butterfly bushes invasive and the answer is some are and some are not so for example in my state where i live i live in oregon a lot of varieties of butterfly bushes are actually illegal for me to plant because they are termed invasive because they're self-seeding. So they produce seed that drops and then, you know, butterfly bushes pop up all over the place. But there are a few series that we are allowed to sell down at the garden center. There's the Lo and Behold series and the Mist series, which have been hybridized to be sterile seedless plants that we can still sell and plant in our area because they are not self-seeding. They won't spread themselves around. The second question, is the butterfly bush the same as the butterfly weed? And they're actually two different types of plants. The butterfly bush is a woody shrub and the butterfly weed is an herbaceous perennial referring to varieties of milkweed. The third question is, are butterfly bushes good for butterflies? And they are because the flowers are very high in nectar and they do support the butterfly stage of the butterfly's life. They don't support the caterpillar stage though. So if you're wanting to create a really 
friendly, butterfly friendly garden, you want to make sure to have multiple different varieties of things, annuals, perennials, trees, vines, things that bloom at different times and that provide different things for every stage of the butterfly's life. Next question is, do I need to cut the spent seeds off of my butterfly bush? And that one's completely up to you. You don't have to remove the spent seed heads or deadhead the plant in order to encourage more blooms. It'll keep blooming anyway. But if you have a variety of butterfly bush that is not um, sterile, the one that wants to self-seed, you can go in and fall and cut off all those spent seed heads and that will eliminate the possibility of it spreading. And the last question is, can I plant a butterfly bush in a container? And you absolutely can. We've actually done a video on it before last year. You just want to make sure that that pot has excellent drainage, so make sure there's plenty of drainage holes on the bottom of the pot. Make sure to use a fast draining potting soil, no garden soil. Garden soil in containers is not a good mix usually holds on to way too much moisture. And you wanna make sure to use a container that's good enough to hold up through your winters. We did put together a video last year on how to winter over shrubs and perennials in containers. If you would like to learn more about that, we will put a link down below. So that's it, you guys. I love butterfly bushes. They provide so much color throughout the whole summer season. So if you have been wanting to plant a butterfly bush or have been struggling to care for yours, I hope this video was helpful to you. And we will see you guys in the next video. Bye.